Hey everyone, Mad Max here, and today we're going to be talking about House of Gucci. So, the movie stars Lady Gaga, Adam Driver, Al Pacino, Jeremy Irons, Jared Leto, Salma Hayek. Great cast, right? Uh, directed by Ridley Scott. Uh, I'm going to start this off by saying that I was really excited to see the movie. Um, wanted to see it as soon as possible. Um, I don't know anything about Gucci. Um, I'm, I, I don't. I just don't have any of that name brand stuff. <laughs> um, and uh, so I was excited to know the history of Gucci, uh, know kind of the story behind it. I did, you know, I looked up on Wikipedia beforehand just to kind of see some information about it. But anyways, um, just to get into it, uh, it is two and a half hours long. Um, it's probably about 30 minutes too long, if I'm honest. Um, the plot... Uh, it starts off with uh, Patrizio, uh, Patricia, sorry, uh, which is Lady Gaga's character, meeting um, Maurizio, which is Adam Driver, um, and you know, just goes on from there. Um, I just want to get into it. Uh, I was really disappointed, um, to say the least. The disappointing part about it was it felt like the plot was really messy. And it, it tried to show, like, the up-and-coming relationship of, you know, uh, Patricia and Mauricio. And also the up-and-coming of Gucci, which, you know, Gucci was already this global brand. It was already a huge name. But um, the two brothers that owned it, um, Aldo and I can't, Rodolfo, I'm probably not saying that correctly, <laughs> Uh, which is Jeremy Irons character um, he you know they're close to retiring they're in their 70s like they are you know they're about to hand the business over to their sons and it's just it, you know it was like I said it's kind of messy it was not a very cohesive story about halfway through I started getting really bored um, there was a lot of pacing issues a lot of shaky cam issues like I know this was filmed during the pandemic but uh, it's also Ridley Scott so I kind of expected a little bit more um, and it was just very obvious weird choices I would say um, you know as far as like the camera and just some how some scenes were filmed and lighting was always a little off um, and <laughs> uh, something that was just laugh out loud funny which it probably should have been funny but um you know the there's the wedding scene uh between lady gaga and adam driver and they played uh george michael faith and now i love george michael faith but they played the whole song and it drowned out the dialogue from that whole wedding scene it was wild and it was just such a odd choice in the wedding scene to begin with um <laughs> it was just so distracting <laughs> that whole scene was just so distracting with with faith and i mean really uh, there were a lot of scenes that are kind of awkward in my opinion and it just by the time it was over i was just like holy it's it's almost whenever you started getting into the real meat of the story which i thought it was going to be uh, it ends it ends abruptly, um, but there's a lot of things that happen abruptly where, it, and this is, again, this is a problem with the plot for me, is that, you know, you have this story, and I don't want to give away too much for people who don't know the story, but it, you know, they work on building a relationship, and then they have one scene where there's a disagreement, and then it's a whole 180, and it's just, you know, you almost have whiplash, like, they were, they showed years of you know, this relationship building, and it's not just between, um, uh, Patricia and Mauricio, it's, it is somebody else within the family, which again, I don't want to say, um, you know, you'll just, if you want to watch it, you'll, you'll, I think you'll understand what I'm saying, but it all just happens so fast, and in a two and a half hour movie, you have a lot of time to build up that, um, that resentment and that, um, sort of anger towards another person to get to where, they go or you know because um just to say this with because it's not spoilers i mean there's a whole lot of family drama in gucci but i just feel like it's it all happens so fast and 
like I said, a two and a half hour movie it doesn't need to be, it shouldn't be that fast at all. So, I mean, if I had to, to rate it on a scale from two or from, from one to five, I, I would give it a two. <laughs> it was, it was just not great for me. And even the acting, like I went in there thinking like Lady Gaga is going to get her Oscar, like, or she's at least going to be nominated, very least get nominated. But and now after watching it, I mean, I don't know, I kind of take it back a little bit. It's just, you know, she has some good scenes, but it is oh, her, an overall performance. There's parts that were kind of awkward, um, like a little overdone. And it is, uh, I don't, it's, I, I hate the fact that I'm saying this, but it's, I was just so disappointed in a lot of it. And it, you know, what I kind of expected the story to be, this is kind of the best way that I can explain it, is that um, when it comes to Gucci as a brand, like, I was expecting a little bit of history about Gucci going into it, um, and we know it's just like, here's Gucci, you know Gucci, Gucci's a household name, um, but they really should have worked on developing that and why it's a global brand why it's loved and why it's you know it's luxurious and all of this stuff and why it is what it is to this day I mean right now the company is worth 60 billion dollars so but back in the day you know they were they were kind of struggling a little bit but they didn't really go into why and the what I wanted to compare it to is I almost thought it would be like the social network where, you know, whenever the social network came out, everybody knew what Facebook was. Everybody knew what Facebook was. Everybody had a Facebook, you know, but, you know, they still took the time to work on the story of Facebook and how it came to be from the ground up. And with Gucci, it was just like, it's Gucci. You know what Gucci is. So here's a movie. So that was a little disappointing. Um, and again, just two and a half hours. I mean, I don't, I love long movies. I, you know, my, my favorite movies are the Lord of the Rings for fuck's sakes, but it's, <laughs> it, it was, oh man, it was so, it, it, by the middle of, like I said, I was just bored. I was so bored. I, and I was like, what, I, you know, when is this thing going to happen? And by the time it got there, nope, the movie was over. <laughs> I'm like, so what I really wanted to see kind of lay out in the events that happened and what the movie goes over, it it misses that mark by a long shot. And I don't know, maybe I could put out a spoiler review um, after the movie's out for a couple of weeks so I can really go into, you know, a lot of my grievances. Um, I just don't want to give too much away since it's not technically out yet. Um, but yeah, it's, you know, it's just a two out of five for me. I'm not not happy about it. So if you've seen it, let me know, um, you know, put something in the comments. Let me know what you thought. Um, maybe I'm just, I don't know, maybe I'm just judging it too harshly because it was done in the pandemic. But again, because it's really Scott, I kind of had more expectations that he would be a little bit more creative. But there is just some obvious things that were wrong with the film. And I just, you know, kind of hold him to a better standard than that. But again, let me know what you think. Um, if you would like to subscribe, you know, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. We'd love to have you here. So we'll talk to you uh, again soon. Bye.